Today on the bench is one of these, it's a carver from about 1983 or 4, PM 1.5 Professional Amplifier. Someone brought this in for repair and uh, all it does is go into protection when you plug it in and it hums and scared the crap out of me actually. And it's got 20 output transistors but it gets better. Um, on the input, it's this magnetic field power amplifier. On the input, it's got these diacs and triacs. On the input of the primary, they don't even call it the primary, they call it something else of this transformer. Um, left and right channels there, but the, what I'm going at, I've already started here, are these two, two capacitors here. They're dual capacitors. One's for the positive supply, one's for the negative supply, and they're just it's just horrible, horrible to work on. Um, they're on this PC board that's all soldered in and they're, of course they're down on the bottom with all these wires attached and I'm going to try and get those two capacitors out of there. And someone else has already been in here changing diodes. They just clipped on the top and tacked a couple on. But let's get these capacitors out of here. Okay, I got one out without destroying anything too badly. And these are people making capacitors that probably shouldn't have been making capacitors. Capacitor technology. I can't read or I can't comprehend what this means. I'm familiar with triangles and the squares and the half moons and the blank. Black. Does that mean blank? 50? These are the voltages. 50 and 80. It says working volt DC in the middle. So we've got 50 and 80. So I got a 50 at 220 and an 80 a 220 at 80, it reads backwards, and a 220 at 80 and a 220 at 50. No big deal. And over here it says neg. It usually says can neg, it just says neg. So is it 2200 microfarad? Negative? No. The can should be negative, but the can, remember, is isolated. They're not using the, the can, they're only using the two. There's two capacitors in here, basically. So you get the square, half moon, triangle. I'll look at the circuit. I do have the schematic. This just confuses me. I will call this capacitor hell. Trying to get two canned capacitors with eight terminals out of a flimsy circuit board that doesn't have enough strength to hold the weight of these capacitors but I got them out. Now I just have to figure out I have the diagram but unlike a SAMS it does not tell you the layout of these parts D1, D2, D4 they're just labeled so I'd have to instead of a physical picture sh dictating designating each one I have to hunt and peck and try and find out which diode is going to which capacitor and there's no layout telling me which one's which so I have no idea which is which supply here. One of them, the positives are going to go to the ground and the other one, the negatives are going to go to the ground. Oh look, someone's labeled this one, hallelujah. Well, that sheds some light on things. Stupid design. So the half moon and the blank are negative. Half moon, black, blank, black, BLK. So the triangle and the square is positive. I don't know if this neg confuses me. Just cover that up. Square, triangle, the 22. I keep saying 220. It's 2200. Triangle and square is positive. Hopefully these are labeled right. Triangle, square are labeled positive. Thank heavens for that. Okay, I've gone and cleaned up most of the residue in there. So I can see what I'm doing. And 
I think what I'm going to do is some computer monitor capacitors here. These aren't quite the microfarad I need. 1200, but uh, it's better than nothing. 12, I'll see what I can dig up as close to 2200. But I certainly have the voltage. And uh, again, as soon as I establish which way to put the positives, it would be nice if the nomenclature had uh, polarity in that, because I do not want to put those in backwards. I'll have to look at the way the marked one on the right was in. And then just put the other one in the, this is the marked one, and then just put the other one in the opposite way. And I can do some diode checks from the rectifiers to verify using the schematic. And I did mark which one went where. That one on the left, uh, that one on the right, and this one on the left, the one with the, the blue. And we have pictures and whatnot, but okay, let's... Let's test the capacitors next. Well, two things. We must have a magic bottle here, only if we had a genie coming out of it. I have my wish. I have someone wrote nomenclature on the board. So here's our ground. This capacitor is in standard minus the ground. This, the positive, goes to the ground. So this is our negative supply over here. Oh, that makes things so much easier, and the fact that we didn't wash our our colored markings off with the board cleaner. We're doing okay, and again, here are the two diodes that someone had changed at some point. I'm going to test the cap first with this newfangled meter, but I still don't... I haven't earned this... This hasn't earned my respect yet, I, I have to say. Paid a lot of money for it, but... Uh, I'd rather use the old green-eyed reliable. But let's see what this says. It's out of circuit. says it's good. Which I don't trust. Okay. And the capacitor number two. This is the one I don't, well, I don't know why I don't trust this one. Says it's good. if I trust this. We're going to test them with the old reliable for leakage. Okay, uh, I've got the capacitor checker ready here. Note to self, turn the voltage down or make sure it's down and not on leakage when you plug it in and turn it on as boy that'll wake you up. 400, 400 volts. That really gets the heart pumping. I don't know which side is which on this crazy thing. I think 50 volts is the triangle. Although this tester is not best for the low voltage range because it, it does have 50, but I just want to check leakage. There we are, 10. Yeah, 15 volts, look at that. Garbage. Garbage. 
garbage garbage try the next section here this is why that it's new capacitor case. tester doesn't really hold much weight with me I haven't had a successful bad capacitor with that peak meter yet this one this is the square the square is 80 volts around 10 Yeah, it's opening, but closer to 50. I'm not even about well, 30 volts. This capacitor is junk. Complete junk. Well, that's good news. Try the other one. Oh, don't put it on the can. I have to reference the other capacitor here. Let's go with a square is positive. Thank heaven someone wrote. I would still be trying to decipher that. I don't care, I'm just going to go up to about 50. 10 volts, 10, 15 volts. I know it's a big capacitor, it'll take time, but... Go closer to 50. These capacitors are junk. These are junk. These are junk. Not even waiting for them. Next we'll do the triangle. Okay, same thing. Give it a... I see these testers all the time at the uh, ham fest and nobody... They must not know what they are or people don't care I mean strangest thing this has been this capacitor is junk all right I'm gonna take a new computer monitor capacitor here and try the same thing this is a 200 volt but just to compare It's like 10 volts. Opens right up. Go up to like 50. That's a big capacitor, so it takes some time. It eye opens. These are not going back in there. Look at that, it's wide open. Okay, I figured now that the capacitors are out, I've ordered replacements. There's an outfit that makes a drop in replacement for those, so I'm not going to screw with making my own. Um, scavenged parts um, 20 output transistors I did just go down quickly and that one that I put the uh, the red dot on is is shorted so we have one shorted output transistor and that's this one right here 2SB600 verify mm -hmm. it's hard to do one hand here 
here. Anyway, you'll have to take my word for it. Versus the other ones are fine. Okay, so just checking the junctions of a few of these transistors. Uh, we have more than one. And some outfits get close to $10 a piece for these. Or you just buy a whole set. A pair. We've got the 2SB600 and the 2SD555. Uses 10 of each. So um, the owner says go for it. He wants this amp working. So we may just buy a whole, a whole set and keep some spares on hand. So that'll do it for the carver. We'll stay tuned for a part two, hopefully.